Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to make cards because there's a new way to create cards with a Cricut cutting machine. And I'm not talking about the Cricut Joy. It's the new Cricut 2x2 card mat. This is an innovative and reusable machine mat that holds pre-folded cards in a special way that cuts only the card front, making card making easier and faster. The Cricut 2x2 card mat works with pre-cut and pre-folded Cricut insert cards, Cricut cutaway cards, and Cricut foil transfer insert cards, as well as cardstock that you pre-cut and fold yourself. A larger size card mat like this that works with the Cricut Maker and the Explore series is something so many have been asking for, and it's finally here. The new 2x2 mat can cut up to four cards at one time. How cool is that? Everyone knows I love testing out new products and I have learned a lot experimenting with the new larger mat and all of the new card sizes. I've made some mistakes along the way, sure, and I've gone through a lot of materials, but it's all in an effort to make your crafting experience more fun and less fuss. As I say, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. So first, the basics. The Cricut 2x2 card mat measures 13 inches by 16 and a quarter inches. You can use all four areas at one time or just one panel if that's all you need. The mat works with all of the Maker cutting machines and the Explore series of cutting machines too. If you've used a Cricut Joy to make cards, this mat probably looks familiar and it functions much the same. There are two long protective covers on each side. They are shiny on one side and matte on the other. You'll want to remove both of these protective covers when you use this mat, no matter how many cards you intend to make. And the reason for this is that you don't want to leave one on because it could get caught up in the machine while you're cutting. And when you replace them, you want the shiny side down, matte side up. And as you can see, these new mats are very sticky, and that's a good thing. They need to be sticky to hold the card in place during the cut. When I cut my first set of cards, it was hard removing the card because it was so sticky. But I have a great tip to share with you that makes that a ton easier, and I'll get to that in a bit. The benefit of the stickiness is that you can cut up to 20 cards on each of the four panels. So that's like 80 cards, give or take, per mat. That's a lot of cards, 80 cards. <laughs> so that brings us to the cards themselves. These mats will accommodate all of the same cards that are compatible with the Cricut Joy, plus two new sizes. So here's a look at all the sizes. The numbers start at 10 and increase as the cards get larger. The new sizes are what Cricut is calling the R40, which measures four and three quarters by 6.6 .6 inches. And the S40 is a square card that measures four and three quarter inches on both sides. The R stands for rectangle and the S for square. They gave the cards these new size dimensions because they are sold worldwide and it makes it easier for everyone to know what size is what since card names actually vary by country. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> so here's a look at all of the card packs and options. As you can see, there's a lot to choose from, different sizes and different card types, including cutaway cards, insert cards, and foil transfer cards. So now to the fun part, let's put this new mat to the test. We'll make four cards that I designed and we'll make available in my free resource library for you to download. And while we're making, I will share everything that I've learned along the way that will hopefully help you get the most out of this new larger card mat. Step one, get my free card design files. I created four cards just to test this larger card mat, and they are free to everyone. To get them, go to jennifermaker.com slash 391 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the designs by searching the page for design number 391 and then click it to download a zip file with SVGs for cutting on your Cricut. 
If you're unsure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com slash SVGS to learn how to unzip and upload files. You can also find many more cards for pretty much any celebration, event, or holiday you can imagine right in Cricut Design Space. Here's a look at the four designs that we'll be making. You can zoom out to see everything by clicking on the minus sign on the lower left of the canvas. We're going to make all four designs at once, but you can certainly make just one card at a time or multiples of one card or really mix and match however you like. The only thing you want to do is be sure to use the same card size. I want to keep it simple, so let's make all four. Make sure you have the right machine selected and click make it. On the next screen, you'll see a pop-up window with different options for cutting. We're going to choose the one that says on card mat. So click that and click continue. Now on the prepare screen, you see the four designs on four different mats. Cricut separates them this way because they were all different colors on the canvas. But guess what? We can move them all to one mat. Then when it's time to cut, we'll just add different color cards to the mat. First, let me show you something cool. You can click and drag the design to any one of the other three panels. Pretty neat, huh? The reason for this is that sometimes you might only cut one or two cards at a time, and you don't want to overuse one section of the mat, right? This feature allows you to move the cards around to different panels in case one part starts losing its stickiness. This is a great feature, and I love it. Okay, so let's move the other three designs to the top mat. On mat two, click on the design and then click on the three dots on the top left and select move object. On the pop-up screen, click on the first mat and hit confirm. Now that design shows up in the second panel, but you can also move it to another panel if you like or leave it there. Let's move the other two designs to the first mat the same way. Now that all four designs are on one mat, we are almost ready to cut. But first, we need to choose our material size or card size. These designs are sized for the new square cards, so I'll click in the box under Material Size and choose S40 for the square card. You'll see all four cards on the mat change size. At the time of this video, that's the only option. You cannot cut multiple size cards on one mat, so that's important to know. Okay, now it's time to choose our material. I've done a lot of experimenting with a different material and pressure settings, and I have settled on my favorite. Cardstock for intricate cuts. That is the best setting. It seriously cuts like butter. But feel free to do your own experimenting here because every machine cuts a little differently. Step two, cut your cards. Okay, now it's time to cut. First, remove the protective mat cover from both sides and make sure the mat is top side up so you can read the word Cricut. Unlike other machine mats, which can be loaded from either end, the 2x2 card mat must be loaded top first always. Otherwise, your designs will not be properly aligned on the cards. Now it's time to add the card to the mat. The cards are added on the left side of the insert only. I found it kind of hard to pull up on the plastic divider with my finger, so here's a tip. It helps to use a weeding tool to gently pry up the side just a smidge so you can slide the card underneath. Make sure the card is aligned at the top left corner and tucked all the way to the right. Press down the card and make sure it's firmly adhered to the mat. This shouldn't be a problem with a new mat because it's super sticky, but as the mat gets more use, a brayer might really help here. Now, before we load the mat into the machine, there's one more step that's super important. We need to move the star wheels to the center. So the star wheels are these white things on your Cricut. These should be fairly easy to move. Just use your fingers to move them all into the center so they align with the middle column of the card mat. This way they won't leave any indentations on the cards as they cut out. Now it's time to load our card mat into the machine and start the cut. 
Before you do, make sure there's plenty of space behind the machine for the mat to feed through. I didn't do this the first time and the mat hit the wall and jammed the machine. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so once the card mat is loaded and you've made sure you have plenty of room behind your Cricut cutting machine, press the flashing button to start cutting. When the cut is done, unload the mat to remove the cards. Step three, assemble your cards. And here's something else I learned after a few mistakes. It helps if you use a scraper tool to lift up the top, side and bottom of the card first so it won't rip, especially when your card mat is super sticky. Once it's pulled away a bit, you can gently pull the rest of the card up from the panel. And if you picked a good material setting for the cut, it should peel away, leaving all of the cut pieces, or at least most of them, on the mat. Isn't this just so cool? To remove the bits and pieces, you can use the scraper tool. It's important to scrape from top to bottom rather than side to side so the little bits don't get stuck in the crevices of your card mat. Now all that's left to do is add the insert and you have four beautiful cards ready to go. If you have any questions, please let me know. I love to help. Leave your question below this video or ask over at our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.